Today we're heading to Timeless to teach some Marina Zoomers about show and tell. So here is our show and tell deck for Timeless. And this deck is kind of absurd. Our goal is to literally win the game. Not one of those, you know, figurative, mostly win the game, but like literally our opponent dies on turn two or turn three with the help of show and tell. So show and tell, by far the biggest new addition to Timeless from Murders of Karlov Manor, three mana sorcery lets each player, so it's symmetrical, put an artifact creature enchantment or land card from their hand onto the battlefield. So you might be thinking, is show and tell really that good? I mean, it's symmetrical, right? Your opponent gets to put the best thing from their hand into play. Sure, you do too, but couldn't that go horribly wrong? And yeah, sure, there are times when it could go horribly wrong. But the thinking is this. So we're built around show and tell. Our opponent's not built around show and tell. So us putting our best thing into play from our hand is going to be way more powerful than our opponent putting whatever their best thing into play from their hand is. So even though it's technically symmetrical, the way it plays is not symmetrical. Most of the time, if we resolve a show and tell, we're just going to win the game right there on the spot that turn. So to support show and tell, we got some ramp, a uh, Deathrite Shaman Utopia sprawl just let us show and tell on turn two for our turn two kill and then we need to find the show and tell for this we have brainstorm impulse lauren revealed uh, some tutors and assemble the team and demonic tutor worth mentioning that these cards are really good at finding show and tell they're also good after we show and tell because our main show and tell target is omniscience so if we show and tell omniscience then we can cast all these tutors and cantrips and card draw spells for free to combo off and win the game so let's say we do the thing we play our show and tell we're hopefully putting omniscience into play we got a bunch of backups as well how do we actually win the game so we show and tell ideally you put omniscience into play if we don't have omniscience we can put atroxa or grizzlebrand emerkel into play but the main goal is show and tell the omniscience then we can cast like an atroxa or a grizzlebrand and draw a bunch of cards that should find us another atroxa turn us a bunch more cards eventually we'll just keep chaining through our atroxas the end goal is to find an atroxa in emerkel the promised end which not only is a 13 13 flyer with protection from instance but also lets us steal our opponent's next turn, although that ability isn't that relevant because usually there isn't a next turn once we get to this point. So we show and tell the Omniscience, we chain together Atroxes until we find Emrakul, and the last piece of the puzzle is a Chroma's Memorial. A Chroma's Memorial gives all of our creatures Flying First Strike, Vigilance Trample, Haste Protection from Black and Red. So we Atroxa, we Emrakul, maybe add a Grizzlebrand in too just for fun, drop the Chroma's Memorial so our team has haste, smash our opponent for 20 on the spot, often on turn two or turn three. That's how ridiculous this deck is. So that's the plan of the deck. The only other relevant card in the main deck, Pact of Negation. So as we just talked about, if we show and tell, we're planning on winning the game right away if we have Omniscience. So we can use our Pact of Negation to force our show and tell through our opponent's interaction to make sure it resolves. Yes, in theory, we die in our next upkeep because we probably won't be able to pay for it. But our plan is we're not gonna ever get to that upkeep. We're just gonna kill our opponent right away. So there's not much of a downside there with the free counter mana beast pretty typical stuff shout out to the surveil lands which are really really good i'm absolutely loving playing three surveil lands in this deck in the sideboard it's mostly about protecting our combo so our opponent knows that our deck is doing really busted things so they're going to try to bring in hate cards to stop us from killing them on turn two or turn three the easiest way to do this is discard effects just thought sees away for example uh, our show and tells our finishers so Leyline of sanctity protects against that spell pierce thought sees Veil of Summer help against counters. Defense Grid also really good against counters. Fatal Push for creature decks. And then Agent of Treachery is in case we run into an opponent who's show and telling. The idea is they show and tell and put like their Omniscience or Atrox into play. And we're like, hmm, we'll put an Agent of Treachery into play and just steal your Omniscience, steal your Atroxa and use it to kill you. And that is show and tell for Timeless. I'm telling you, this deck is so absolutely ridiculously busted. That's our deck for today. Let's jump into some games and see show and tell in action. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some magic cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash MTG Goldfish. We've got new tokens and playmats, and you can even get the token signed if you want. Check them all out over at mtggoldfishmerch.com. All right, it is timeless time. We are uh, <laughs> checking out some uh, show and tell action. I think out of all of Murders at Karlov Manor, show and tell by far the card that seems like it should be best in timeless. Uh, so let's see if we can do some absurdly broken things. This hand actually, 
I mean, I guess it's fine. It's not the nuts by any means. We don't have a show and tell. We don't have a finisher, but uh, we have a bunch of ways to dig for a finisher and a show and tell and a little ramp action. See what our opponent's up to. Surveil land, okay. Surveil lands have been really good. I've been impressed. I really like playing two or three of them to fetch out. Seems very worth it. Well, death rate shaman, go. Carnage tyrant, <laughs> what? Carnage tyrant? Opponent plays a tap. Well, okay, there's an Atroxa. So that means if we find a show and tell, we have something to do with it, which is nice. Pass. Grab a watery grave, untapped. And we're just gonna tutor here, or like one third of a tutor. Oh, this is interesting. I mean, I guess we just take the show and tell. Omniscience is our favorite show and tell target. That's one that lets us like fully combo off, but I mean, turn three Atroxa, not bad. We will not complain about that. <laughs> a little scared of what our opponents, are. oh, all right. Well, turn three Atroxa, but we don't even have to spend our show and tell. Uh, well, I guess the question is, can our opponent make us die? I imagine, okay, seeing what our opponent's doing, opponent also has Atroxa. Well, we get, well, there's the Omni, oh, this is, all right, opponent, you better kill us here. Uh, Acroma's Memorial, Omniscience Land, <laughs> I'm rec <laughs> Emrakul, all right, opponent. Well, uh, you have an Atroxa, we have an Atroxa. Yeah, opponent's trying to play a natural order show and tell deck, interesting. The bad news for our opponent is they can't make us die here, right? They're gonna make a big board, like they're going to Atroxa next turn, they could probably like get a Galta into play. Our deck is built though, so if we show and tell Omniscience, we should just win the game. And I mean, we just literally win with our hand, right? We show and tell the Omniscience, cast the Emrakul, cast the Chroma's Memorial, <clears throat> GG. And we have a bunch of impulses too. Well, uh, Polluter Delta, crack Polluter Delta. This should be fun. All right, uh, looks like a turn three kill right off the bat. <laughs> Show and tell. We'll put an Omniscience into play. Opponent, you may also put something into play. Galta, oh no, <laughs> it's a 12-12. A Chroma's Memorial means none of this matters though. Like, found it, no, <laughs> no light Ferox. Well, let's have some fun. Impulse for assemble the team. And we will impulse for Atroxa. And then we will assemble the team. Looking for mostly like a Grizzle brand. I guess we don't even really, okay, there's a demonic tutor. We don't even really need the Grizzle brand, but we might as well maximize our fun here. All right, Demonic Tutor for Grizzle Band. Uh, we will play a Grizzle Band for free, and then play an Emrakul for free. We'll be merciful. We could draw 14 cards with Grizzle Brand and cast them for free, but how about an Emrakul? Skill your next turn, a Chroma's Memorial, go to combat, everything flying and protection from everything, and well, <laughs> that was easy. All right. All right, well, uh, turn three kill. <laughs> this deck, though. So opponent is also a show and tell deck, but their deck's a lot different than our deck. I think we'll bring in the thought seizes and spell pierces. This is actually kind of funny because I think we just are a better show. Like, our opponent shows and tells. It seems like they're just going to make a big board and try to win the next turn. We show and tell, and we should win right away. And it's kind of funny, like show and tell in a mirror is so awkward because it's symmetrical, right? So if we show and tell, our opponent gets to put things into play. If they show and tell, we get to put things into play. Well, all right. Turn to Atroxa, <laughs> maybe? We'd still like to find Omniscience. That'd be the best opponent, Forest and Abriel Blaza. Sure, for a survey of land, yep, yep, yep. I mean, I guess that kind of lets our opponent block things. Let's Polluter Delta, crack Polluter Delta. Yeah, let's just get the Breeding Pool and get down the death right. The question is, do we actually, do we just show and tell Atroxa? Because Atroxa doesn't just win us the game. And if we show and tell Atroxa and they go like Galta Atroxa or something, we could lose because we show and tell. If we show and tell Omniscience, we definitely do it. Well, another another grazer, sure. We draw a fetch land. I think we I think we just wait. I know it looks awkward that we have the ability to <laughs> to put an Atrox into play, but because we saw our opponent's deck, I think we might die if we do. So I think we'd rather wait a turn, brainstorm, see if we can find an omniscience. Ooh, demonic tutor. Okay. 
That does mean we need two turns if we want to demonic tutor first. But our opponent just missed a land drop and played an Abrail Grazer. Let's grab a super good surveil land. Mill land. Well, uh, spell pierce. Well, okay, that makes it that makes it even easier to wait. Like, we'll just demonic tutor for omniscience. This should pretty much guarantee that we win next turn. And if our opponent tries to, like, natural order or something, we can just spell pierce it. Ooh, Field of the Dead. Good card, but I imagine our opponent was hoping for an untapped land. All right, well, now we should just win the game. I mean, I guess there's risk. So here's the risk. We show and tell, and our opponent puts in something that can blow up the show and tell. Like, if they show and tell a, I don't know, acidic slime, maybe we keep being patient. I am worried that they have an answer here. Grizzlebrand is also just, like, really good, but I think... If the concern is our opponent show and telling an answer to our show and tell, I think it's better just to do a hand check. Wow, okay, good thing we did that. They had a Titan of Industry. That would have actually got us. If we show and tell and put Omniscience into play and then they put the Titan into play, they could blow up the Omniscience before we could cast Atroxa. Now we know the coast is clear though. So we're, I mean, opponent, do whatever you want. Like play your show and tell. Yeah, that is also fine. Dump your hand. I mean, we're just seeing the difference in what our decks are trying to do. I don't even think we need to spell pierce this. Like we know our opponent's hand. If they want to dump their hand, that's fine. We'll just put an Atroxa into play. Draw a few million cards. Pact of Negation, Atroxa, another Omniscience, a land, and a show and tell. And opponent, put in whatever you want to put in. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable. So in, ooh, Carnage Tiger too. So in theory, we should win this turn, right? There's, I mean, it's possible we whiff, but we get to show and tell an Omniscience. And then we will play an Atroxa. So the idea is we chain Atroxas till we find Grizzlebrand, Emrakul. Well, there's Grizzlebrand. Um, Grizzlebrand, Emrakul, and Acroma's Memorial. And then we just swing for lethal. Well, run out the Grizzlebrand. Assemble the team. We need two more two more pieces for the insta kill. Wow, it was a pretty bad assemble the team. Impulse is fine though. Now let's just keep digging. Impulse four. All right, there's a memorial. So now we just need Emrakul to have enough power for lethal. Uh, assemble the team. We will Omniscience just to have a backup. Omniscience to have a backup for the backup. Akroma's Memorial. <laughs> uh, assemble the team. Emrakul. Emrakul. All right, Brainstorm. Well, Brainstorm for nothing. I mean, we have another Atroxa, so this is fine. We can just play another Atroxa to keep digging. It's so hard to, <laughs> it's so hard to fizzle at this point, the way the deck's built. Uh, over to him, tap, don't need mana anymore because everything is free. Atroxa, part three. <laughs> Opponent's got the salty taco going. Uh, hey, there we go. Okay, there's that Merkle. That's all that really matters. Emrakul just gives us enough power that we win right now. So, uh, yeah, steal your next turn. Not that there will be one. And show and tell is pretty insane. Everything flying and trampling in protection because of Akroma's memorial. They can block with the grazers, but not going to be enough. And that's the power of show and tell. Wow. That was pretty absurd. It is is show and tell time doing some more show and telling in time let's see if we can just you know win on turn two maybe <laughs> and this hand yeah looks pretty good double show and tell wow lane line of the guild pact i have not seen many lane line of the guild packs in timeless this is gonna be interesting well let's play a uh, surveil land keep the land our hand looks really good right we have double show and tell we have the omniscience we have an assemble the legion uh to two or assemble the team to tutor so basically we just need a finisher like an atroxa would be good we could assemble the team for it i think we pass in brainstorm though one of the things that's super sweet about brainstorm in this deck is we can use it to hide stuff that our opponent tries to discard or whatever on the top of our deck so there, you get some extra value out of it well let's brainstorm see if we can find atroxa or grizzlebrand would be the best all right demonic tutor i mean that that also counts we'll put back a sh show intel all right, well, I mean, let's see what our opponent can put into play. They could put an answer into play. So they look like a domain deck, which means they're probably playing Leyline Binding, which would be good here. Like if we put Omniscience into play and they put Leyline Binding into play, but 
I mean, we're gonna do what we came to do. I mean, we're here to show and tell. Opponent! <laughs> Would you like to put something into play? All right, we get to Omniscience. Oh, they actually do have Leyline Binding, all right. Well, we get a free impulse. That's something. All right, so opponent has come for, oh, there's a Grizzle Brand too. The good news is we do have two tutors in hand. Well, one tutor and one, one third of a tutor, but still assemble the team usually gets there ish. Opponent, untap land and Minsk and Boo. Well, now this is interesting. So our opponent overcame the first show and tell. They have a real clock. So you get to hit us for four. Next turn, they hit us for eight. So we have two turns. Oh God, that's the show and tell. So we show and tell Grizzlebrand, but if they have an answer, we're probably dead. Oh, we could tutor. I kind of want to tutor first. I think we land cycle. Land cycle with Lorien revealed. Take a island. Demonic tutor for omniscience. Play the land. <clears throat> so our plan is we survive here. We show and tell the omniscience. Assemble the team, hopefully find a Troxa. The Grizzle Brand's gonna be sketchy. We're gonna be low enough on life that I don't think we can draw cards with it, which is unfortunate. Uh, about, ooh, Territorial Kavu, sure. Always gonna be maxed out, thanks to Leyline. Yeah, the problem with Domain, wow, they're just, all right. Well, let's see if this last card is a Leyline Binding. <laughs> and let's see if we, we could whiff with this Assemble the Team. It's pretty unlikely, but we could. So, Minsk and Boo. Okay. So, opponent gets to draw four, which is four more shots to find a Leyline Binding. Well, if they find Leyline, I guess they just got us. I mean, what else are we gonna do? No, no Leyline? Omniscience? <laughs> what do we got? Oh, Territory Kavu. All right, that should be game then. So, we get to Assemble to find a Atroxa. And a Troxa to find a whole bunch of other stuff. All of it's gonna be free because of omniscience. Do we just win? Opponents at 18. And I guess all we really need is Emrakul, technically. Assemble the team. Impulse. Emrakul. Uh, random land. Well, I mean, I. Oh, well, I guess we don't just win win though, right? We still need. So we need to steal our opponents next turn. We still need to find the Chromas Mori to win right now. That's kind of a whiff. Assemble the team. Get another assemble the team. Assemble the team. Magic with an omniscience on the battlefield is something else. Well, I guess we Atroxa. Legend. We're just digging to try to find our one Acromas Memorial to, to fully close out this game. We could still whiff. It's still possible. And we are kind of whiffing. But we do still have more Atroxas and Impulse now. Let's Impulse for a Deathrite Shaman. <laughs> Death Ray Shaman. Utopia Sprawl. <laughs> Just to get a card out of our hand. Impulse for, I guess, another Omniscience in case they find an answer. Backup Omniscience. Come on, Atroxa. Show us a memorial. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. Whew. Okay, now we should be good. Now we should be good. So, uh, snag some stuff. An opponent. <laughs> Gets tired of sitting through our combo. Well, sorry, opponent. I mean, that is the game, right? Well, we're going to win that, no doubt about it. It's just a matter of how quickly... Well, I guess, no, that's not exactly true. There are ways we lose. If we don't find the Chrome Memorial and our opponent can untap and kill, like, our Atroxa, then they could just kill us. They could also play a big creature and Minsk and boo it. Um... So now our concern is our opponent putting Leyline into play, basically. Leyline's really good. So one of the ways to answer, and I think if you're playing Timeless, you need to have a plan for a, <laughs> for show and tell, I think, because this card seems incredibly busted so far. One of the best strategies against it, I think, is show and tell lets you put something into play as well. That's why I have these agents in the sideboard now. The thinking is, if our opponent shows and tells, then we can use agent to put into play and steal <laughs> whatever they put into play. But stuff like Leyline Binding is a pretty good answer. Like. We show and tell. We put our big thing into play. You leyline mining it. You probably, you probably just get us. Ooh, can we keep this? Not really. What are we putting to the bottom? Hedge maids? Yeah, that's fine. So we got a little ramp, which means if we just draw show and tell, it's absurd. Yeah, breeding pool untapped. Get down the Utopia Sprawl. Doesn't really matter. Let's go black. Let's go blue. I don't know. I guess white makes sense. The upside of white is it does let us cast our Atroxa, which could be a thing. 
opponent with the tap land. Ooh, more Utopia Sprawls. The Mortuary. I think we're going to wait on the Brainstorm. I think we're just going to Utopia Sprawl again. Impulse is fine. It's not exciting, but it does let us go four cards deep to find Show and Tell. And yeah, I guess we just Utopia Sprawl. Might as well. I mean, we're actually kind of just trying to ramp into Atroxa now. We're actually up to five mana, which is not our main plan, but it could happen. Do they have like Assassin's Trophy? That would be not good. Oh, we should up. Mm. So if you play modern with Utopia's Brawl, a lot of times you're playing Arbor Elf and you want to load up all your Utopia's Brawls on the same land. There's not actually any reason to do that in this deck. So it's kind of a punt. Like we should have just split up the two Utopia's Brawls there. Boy, we have like every finisher. Let's put back the two Omnisciences. We'll draw one of them. I mean, if we can just find a show and tell, this hand is ready to pop off. Thankfully, we're not really under any pressure. Like, our opponent kind of annoyed us by blowing up two of our mana with that Assassin's Trophy, but uh, they're not attacking us. We, If we were staring down a Territorial Kavu or something, this would be much scarier. Or if they, like, drop a Minskin Boo here. All right, Neshoba Brawler. All right. Well, let's crack the Bloodstained Mire, shuffle away an Omniscience. So that is a clock. Let's get a Surveil land. Show me Show and Tell. Well, we don't want to Wooded Foothills. We want a Show and Tell. Even if we find the Show and Tell, we could still die. Let's play the Death Ray. I am very scared of the Lane Line Binding. We haven't found a Thought Seize or anything. Opponent. And now our opponent has a has a clock. I wonder if Leyline of the Guild Pack's worth it in this format. Like, so in Modern, you get Sign of Draco, which is absurd with Leyline. Ooh, there's the Thought Seas. Actually, do we cast it now? I think we want to cast it on the turn that we show and tell. We have enough mana that we can cast it, show and tell, combo off. We are running out of time, though. We're dead in one or two turns. Well, let's... I guess eat an Assassin's Trophy to drain ya. Do we even crack the fetch? I don't know if we want to lose the life of another forest. Oh, if we still had both Utopia's Brawls, we'd actually be able to just hard cast Atroxa here. Play the land, pass the turn. Yes, is very awkward. Now we can't really Thought Seize. We could just be dead. If they have Tribal Flames, we're dead. Or Lightning Bolt. Although those cards, I, Tribal Flames might be in just as a finisher. Bolt, I don't know if you keep in against our deck. All right, another Brawler. This is it. This is it, Magic Gods. Show and tell. Show and tell. Down to one. Grab our last Surveil land. We got to find that Show and Tell. Brainstorm lets us dig three cards deep, right? That's more looks at a Show and Tell. All right, Brainstorm. Gotta find the show and tell or we're dead. There is a show and tell. Well, now the question is, oh, if only, if we could cast this Thought Seize, I'd feel really good about our winning. I mean, we gotta go for it, right? Because we're super dead. Unfortunately, we don't have enough life to Thought Seize away a Ley Line Binding. But, I mean, it's desperation mode. We don't have time to wait. Show and tell. Maybe they don't have it. Maybe they don't. They have them making land drops. They have seven cards in hand. <laughs> but they might not have a ley line binding. Hilariously, they could also just put like an Orcish Bowmasters into play and we die because we're at one. Uh, Omniscience? Opponent? All right, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, we had a game plan, right? We had a game plan. We just ran out of, we ran out of life. We needed to be able to cast the Thought Seize. That was the missing piece of the puzzle. So we're just going to run it back. I think this is a good setup. I mean, show and tell, Omniscience, Atroxa. Oh, this is why the Surveil Lands are so good and why I think I underestimated their power. This is a hand that without Surveil Lands, I'd be a little sketched about because I'm like, oh, we're only on two lands. They're both fetch lands. We might not hit land number three. But having the Surveil Lands in the deck, so easy to keep hands like this. You're like, oh, just I'm going to Surveil into the land. Like it gives me these extra shots to to hit the land drop. Some of the teams actually worth keeping, I think. The question is going to be, do we just YOLO it? Do we just fire off the show and tell and hope they don't have ley line binding? We could also like assemble the team to try to find a thought seize and try to do the same plan as last game, but uh, maybe with enough life to actually pull it off. Wow, opponent's just gonna pass. Let's play the wind swept teeth. Let's crack the wind swept teeth. Let's grab a forest. Well, grab a yeah, forest is fine. I think we're gonna do it. No fear, show and tell. If they do have it, at least we can reassemble the team hopefully with assemble the team oh opponents actually thinking this time i don't think they have it 
we're gonna put a trox into play so even if they ley line binding we get value although this means we're not winning the oh we could have won the game this turn all right we took the conservative line of going with a troxa instead of ley line binding which is i mean we still we have a turn three atroxa we can't really complain about this but if we did put omniscience into play it doesn't look like our opponent has the ley line so i think we would have just won but i mean turn three atroxa i guess that's okay what kind of deck are we playing where we have a turn three atroxa and we're feeling disappointed in it <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a world we're living in turn three atrox and we're like boy that was a that was a crappy turn <laughs> could have been better <laughs> oh such is timeless at the moment about it turn three atrox and meh <laughs> grabs a temple garden wait interesting did they just play us did we get leveled so did they have the ley line binding they had the ley line binding, but chose not to put it into play. Opponent! Sneaky, sneaky! So they put the Kavu into play, knowing that they could cast the ley line binding. I thought it meant they didn't have it, but it looks like they did have it, so I take that all back. If we put the omniscient. Wow, that's another show and tell. Now they already played the ley line binding. What are the odds they have another one? Either opponent's like gonna win the Oscar or uh, we're gonna win this game. Omniscience? I don't think they have it. I don't think they have it. It's a bluff. <laughs> what a fails. All right. Uh, well, how about a free Atroxa? This is the window. They could crack. Okay. Yep. It's game. If our opponent is not Leyline Binding here, it's definitely game. We get another Atroxa. Spell Pierce Utopia Sprawl. What a fails. Thought Seize. Well, now I guess we might as well Thought Seize just to, just to see what's up. What's up, opponent? What's up, McLeet? McLeet with the domain deck. All right. Opponent's going to crack the Thought Seize. Also worth mentioning, we have this Pact of Negation now. Hey, Barbie. How are you, bub? We're winning, bub. We're winning. We're winning. What are we? Uh, what are we? Ooh, Minskin Boo. Oh, they had, bes they had besage you. They actually had an answer to the omniscience, but they didn't leave mana up. I don't know about that, Joyce. Well, Atroxa number two. So now we just do the thing where we we're essentially just digging to find enough power to win right now with this Acromas Memorial, which means we basically need the Emrakul. Well, Gristlebrand helps. That adds more power. I mean, the thing is here, our opponent's got nothing in hand. I guess even if we didn't win this turn, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, Grizzlebrand, because worst case, we're going to gain, what, 14? All right, I guess this is enough. Opponent's at 13. I forgot they killed themselves with their mana base. Uh, opponent, <laughs> don't even need the Emrakul. And, uh, yeah, show and tell. <laughs> turn three Atroxa. And we're disappointed in it. <laughs> Such is life with a show and tell deck. So far, so good for this deck. Uh, kind of crushing people. Can anyone actually stop our, uh, <laughs> our show and tell deck? This end, I mean, we got the omniscience. We have two ways to dig for show and tell. I mean, I guess we need two pieces, right? Just show and telling an omniscience doesn't do anything. Wow, opponents aggressively mulliganing, which really doesn't mean much. In a format like Timeless, mulliganing doesn't necessarily mean our opponent has a bad hand. It might mean they're trying to find specific card. You know, all right. Is this the Leyline meme deck? Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. All right, thank you about it. Well, we were just trying to figure out if we could find our show and tell, and I guess the answer is uh, is going to be yes. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we have the show and tell and the omniscience, which means now we can try to use assemble the team to uh, find a finisher. Do you have, wow, opponent's passing. Well, let's get a surveil land, do a little digging, see if we can uh, find, I guess a Troxa or Grizzle brand is fine. All right, here's the fragment reality for Vesuv. What? Vesuv and Drifter? Okay, that's new. Normally, when I see this Leyline meme deck, uh, you're getting like Geist of St. Trafter or something. So our opponent's getting Vesuv and Drifter. I guess that makes the scheming symmetry make more sense. Because Drifter needs something big on top of the deck. So I guess ideas use. <laughs> Get the Drifter, and then I don't know what they're putting on top. Probably an Eldrazi or something. About it. Cycles the troll to get a land. I guess this is scary. If our opponent's playing Vesuvian Drifter, they could have something busted in their hand. I think we're going to go for the win, though. Something big on top? No. Still just drifting. Phone ain't going to get in hit us. I mean, opponent has literally one card in hand. We can show and tell the Omniscience and then assemble the team and hopefully hit an Atrox or a Grizzlebrand and win. Uh, I guess we just keep surveilling. These surveillance are so good. Do we even need a backup show and tell? I guess we'll keep it just in case. 
I don't know. Our opponent's deck is weird. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Omniscience? Last card is... <laughs> okay. Okay. Green God. Sure. Well, we will do a little tutoring. Take an Atroxa. And Atroxa for free. Uh, okay. So nine mana of spells so far. Uh, Kermos Memorial. Also a Chroma. Also Omniscience. <laughs> <laughs> and a land. Uh, well, let's impulse. Go digging. Oh, there's there's Emrakul, and I think that's game, right? So a Chroma's Memorial, Emrakul, little little Mama Emrakul, steal a turn that will never exist, and haste in the crew. And a... <laughs> it's so easy. It's so easy. Well, eh, just a just a casual turn three win. Um. Against this deck, so our opponent's gonna be on the play. Spell Pierce seems good. Pact of Negation, we can trim. They are playing black, so discard is a thing. So Leyline of Sanctity is probably worth it. That's the main purpose of Leyline of Sanctity is discard is really good against us. So if we expect thought seizes and such, ley lines come in. Yeah, we probably don't need packs against this deck. Let's run it like that. Well, opponent's deck looks neat. It's a cool take on the Leyline meme deck. It definitely not seen people <laughs> spinning into, uh, ooh, all right, we got the Leyline. Assemble the team Demonic Tutor. Little risky since we only have one land, although we do have the Death Ray. So opponent, gonna mulligan for a Leyline. Yeah, I don't know about this Drifter plan. So the Leyline meme deck, it's kind of like Zombie Hunt, although in some ways even worse than Zombie Hunt because you're trying to mulligan into a Leyline plus another effect. Opponent has a Leyline. We will match their Leyline with a Leyline of our own. Uh, Brainstorm is actually a very nice draw. That means we should not actually end up mana screwed here. Sadly, we can't get a Surveil land. We got to get down our Death Rite Shaman. And go. Opponent. Not often do you see someone keep a zero lander, but our opponent was down to two cards while we still almost whiffed on a land. So I think we put back both Atroxas. And then we can surveil away one Atroxa. We'll draw the other one next turn. And then I think we just Utopia Sprawl. This does use the only land in the... Well, do we Utopia Sprawl? Yeah, we got it, right? Death Rite's more likely to die than Utopia Sprawl. So I think we just Axile the land, Utopia Sprawl on black. Well, it's possible we win next turn. It would require brainstorming into land show and tell. All right, so we brainstorm into a bunch of lands. We need to put back a couple of lands. This is fine, so we just win next turn, I think. So we'll just Demonic Tutor for the show and tell. Actually, we kind of need the Omniscience, too, if we really want to do the thing. I guess we can also just assemble the team and see if we hit Omniscience. So I think we might have... We might have punted here a little bit. I think we should have cast Assemble the Team first and taken one or the other and then Demonic Tutored for the missing piece. Although, it's not gonna matter. We found the Omniscience anyway. All right, opponent. Uh, I guess have an answer in hand. <laughs> they do have four cards. Do they stop show and tell? All right, opponent is going to put a Galta into play. Can that put something that blows omniscience up into play? Just a troll. All right. Well, I mean, opponent did put 18 power on the battlefield. Bad news for opponent is uh, they're dead. <laughs> they are dead. So grab a bunch of cards. I mean, we have the Emrakul and the Chroma's Memorial. So yeah, that's that's just lethal. Seven plus 13 is 20. Uh, and it all has haste. And wow, we're up to diamond two. Yeah, this deck seems kind of insane. <laughs> Sweet. Let's see what our opponent's up to. This hand, ah, uh, looks like a, whoa, it's not turn two, is it? Because of the tap land. I was going to say turn two Umrical, but technically, technically no, because this uh, surveil land, well, the surveil lands have felt so good in this deck. I'm glad we're seeing a little bit of a downside to them. There is a drawback to having these tap lands in your deck. They're really good when you don't draw them. <laughs> They're great when you're fetching them up at your convenience. Not as good when you have to play them tapped uh, when you'd rather have untapped. Oh, oh God. Uh, tenacious pup. This actually, this is actually like just clubbing a, a puppy, I think. Like, <laughs> I almost feel bad. Our opponent's playing tenacious pup. And we're, oh yeah, that's an omniscience. We're just playing a very different game than our opponent, I think, if this is what they're up to. Fetch land cracks it. <laughs> what do we got? Breakout, okay. Gonna gonna go digging for a cheap creature. And it's a, 
Zertar Goblin. <laughs> hey, it's a hasty boy. Down to down to 16. You're doing it, opponent. You're doing it. Well, I don't know. As I'm laughing, maybe maybe there's some chance that our opponent's fast enough here. I don't think it's likely, but uh, watery. Do we need to play the untapped land? I guess we should. I don't think they have a way to interact with us, but there is some weird world where they're like jund and they thought season we got a brainstorm to like hide the show and tell. Inti. I mean, Inti is a very good card. I love Inti, but uh, I think things are about to go poorly for our opponent because we can show and tell Omniscience, Emrakul, and Demonic Tutor for free, and we still have the brainstorm too. Go go, Gruel Agro. Opponent discards, pumps. We take five down to eleven. And now we win the game, I think. Uh, show and tell. Let's see what they can show and tell. Maybe they have an answer. Uh, Omniscience. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. Well, uh, let's have just a tiny bit of fun here. Uh, brainstorm. <laughs> brainstorm into two Atroxes. Uh, and opponent doesn't want to sit through the fun, which I know there's no way they're winning that game. All right. Well, uh, that went well. I honestly don't even know if we sideboard. I guess we can bring in a couple fatal pushes and run it like that. But this seems super, super easy here. Well, uh, the sand. I mean, we don't have a fatal push and we have ramp, but we don't have any anything really to do with it. This hand is medium. What are we putting to the bottom? I guess a Chroma's Memorial. We don't really, we don't need that. Ooh, Ragavan. Huh. Well, we might be blocking with our death right here. I really don't want to get hit by Ragavan. Although maybe it doesn't matter. Like, they're unlikely to steal anything that's super helpful out of our deck. I don't know how they're going to cast <laughs> an Omniscience or whatever. But if Agilent grags it. All right, all right. Goes attacking. Well, we are going to block just to uh, make sure this Ragavan doesn't snowball. Ah, uh, Roiling Vortex. So Roiling Vortex is a pretty popular hate card against what we're trying to do. I've seen quite a few people bring it in. I've been playing this deck a lot because it's so busted and <laughs> insane. Oh, we'll take a show and tell. So the idea is if you cast a spell without spending mana on it, you take five. So the thinking is you play the Roiling Vortex. If we show and tell Omniscience, we have to take five for every card we cast the problem with this plan there's another one the problem with this plan is uh we don't have to show and tell omniscience we can just show and tell a grizzle brand let's say and and try to just win by beating down it also does fizzle the life gain on grizzle brand Ooh, zertar goblin okay this is actually gonna be super close we weren't on the omniscience plan this game anyway is grizzle brand enough here so we can't gain life if we could gain life easy win Opponent goes to 15, so we need two Grizzlebrand attacks to win. The problem is we're at 12. Well, we'll see what's in our opponent's hand. This is gonna be, this is actually very, very close. Cause we attack, they fizzle the life gain. What do they, if they hit another threat, there's a chance they can race us. Where's their target goblin? Sure, 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 that's fine. How does this worth out, work out mathematically? So we drop to 10, they have six power. We draw surveil land. If we find a fatal push, I think we win. Atroxa, don't need that at the moment. Well, let's... Ooh. We're actually getting a little punished by our mana base. If we could have played the Utopia Sprawl, we could have packed it. I think we have to attack and hope we live. So we hit our opponent. They're gonna fizzle the life gain. So opponent goes to five. They're dead next turn for sure. We're at a virtual two. They hit us for six, we take two from the Vortexes. So the question is, does our opponent have two damage? A haste creature, a burn. <laughs> we lost to Zertar Goblins. After mocking the Zertar Goblins, it seems as though if you back them up with sideboard cards, they, they can actually do some work. Maybe our opponent's deck is the broken one. Maybe, maybe it's Gruel Aggro that's broken. Well, I can't keep this. Utopia Sprawl and nothing. Well, this will keep. Hmm. Probably the pack to the bottom. We're a minute away from paying for it. Well, I mean, let's draw an Atroxa. We have turn to Omniscience, but we have nothing to do with it. All right, just a fetch land. So since we have nothing to do with it, I don't even think we play the Omniscience. I think there's too much of a risk that we play it and our opponent, if we just keep whiffing and our opponent puts their best thing into play, we could die. That is possible. So I think we want to just pass, surveil, 
We want like literally any finisher. It will even take a uh, we any tutor, any finisher, even like a brainstorm or like impulse would be good. All right, random hasty dinosaur. Yup. Not a not pronouncing that one. <laughs> Crack the polluter delta. Well, we're gonna do some surveilling. We got punished last game by our surveil lands. Can they be the heroes this game? Well, I guess uh, we were gonna draw that either way, but that is an Atroxa, and that should be the game. So, uh, actually, on the land, we're gonna go back to elementary school and do some showing and telling here, and I think we're just gonna put Atroxa into play, yeah. The risk of the Roiling Vortex is too high because because our opponent can fizzle the Omniscience with Roiling Vortex. I think an Atroxa this early is enough. Yeah, opponent says GG is enough to win the race. Like this game, our opponent just doesn't have enough of a clock. So even fizzling a life gain, they die to Atroxa before they can kill us. So that's how you play around a Roiling Vortex. Just to <laughs> show and tell something else and kill them. All right. We are going for Mythic with uh, <laughs> with Show and Tell. Somehow, start off almost at the bottom of Diamond, and we haven't lost yet. I wish I could show you the stats, but Untapped is bugged at the moment, so I can't actually, oh no. We need a land for sure. Although I guess we can Impulse for it. Maybe this hand is a little better than I thought. We also need something to go with this, uh, to go with this Omniscience. Just Omniscience, not good enough. Do we get a dual land here? If we get a dual land, we have all of our colors. That's probably worth taking, too. Yeah, let's Breeding Pool. There's not much in Timeless that punishes you for putting Utopia Sprawl on a duel. You don't see a lot of uh, a lot of Field of Ruin effects. Opponent. Ooh, Golgarie. Well, that's Impulse for a land. Take. Oh, boy, the Trox would be so nice. But I think we have to stay the course here. We need... Oh boy, I don't know. Maybe we could have taken the Trox and waited for a land. I think it's better to take the land and then surveil for literally anything to go with the show and tell. For... Something big? Well, not a Temple Garden. Okay. Well, let's see what we draw. Some of the team's good enough. Well, I think it's party time. Opponent. What would you like to put into play? Uh, we'll put a Omniscience into play. Opponent. Yogg. Oh, they're playing Yogg combo. Well, we're just going to play a second Omniscience in case our opponent has an answer to the first one. And now we assemble the team. As long as we hit an Atrox or a Grizzlebrand or a Tutor, like, that's almost impossible. Well, all right, we're not even going to find out. It's almost impossible that we whiff there, right? Like, because we have Grizzlebrand, Atroxa, Impulse Brainstorm, five Tutors, maybe four left in the deck. So... Oh, very unlikely you don't find something in the top of our deck. So opponent's Yogg. I think this is a Leyline of Sanctity matchup. So I think the plan is Leyline of Sanctity to protect from discard. Do we want to bring in any removal? Probably not. I think we just run it. I think we just trust that what we do is better than what they do. I could see an argument for the Fatal Pushes. I mean, we got the ley line. In some matchups, I think it's even worth mulliganing a bit to find the ley line. Like, discard is very good against what we're trying to do. So we get to start with the ley line. We'll see if our opponent is prepared for the ley line out of the sideboard. Found it. Forest and delighted halfling. Sure. Well, let's get our surveil on. I don't think it matters too much which one we play. Well, we definitely don't need a forest. Go ahead. Basically, we need the show and tell. Next turn, I guess we can assemble the team for it. Oh, opponent with the fetch. I think Leyline also kind of annoys our opponent's combo. Because Blood Artist, so they usually play Blood Artist as their finisher, and Blood Artist does have to target. So I think Leyline does keep them from Blood Artist killing us at least. Not that they can't kill us in other ways or draw their deck and find an answer to it or something, but. Opponent, Hapatra. All right, combo is nearly assembled. We have one white dual land and then Utopia Sprawl. So it's like technically possible we could cast it, although not super likely. Let's play Polluted Delta. We might actually <laughs> fetch up the white source just in case. The second way line could be worth it. Let's get an Overgrown to Well, Watery Grave. Let's get a Watery Grave. And I think we just assemble the team. That's our most guaranteed way to find show and tell well there's the show and tell there's also omniscience i mean i think we just need to show and tell the atroxa and then atroxa will probably find us more show and tells and omniscience is for the oh 
Oh, all right, little channel land action. Well, that's not good. Okay, uh, well, we can take the white source. So if we find a Utopia Sprawl, we can Leyline again, but I bet we're about to get Thought Seeds, and that might actually beat us here. Yeah, there's the Thought, oh, we found the show and tell, but now it's gone. I mean, opponents down to two cards. If they don't have the combo, we have at least a couple turns to reassemble. All right, there's a Blood Artist. Well, if our opponent finds Yogg, we're dead. We didn't bring in Fatal Push. I'm kind of regretting not bringing in the Fatal Pushes now. We could have brought in, hmm. Yeah, it might have been. Might have been greedy not to bring in any Fatal Pushes. I mean, I guess they can put a counter on one of their own creatures to make a snake. I don't know if that really does anything. You get an extra body, but you lose a power. Yeah, opponent just lets it go. Oh, we are gonna draw the Omniscience too. Well, let's surveil. Definitely don't want even more ley lines. So pass the turn. Come on. So like, oh, land. That probably means we're dead. I was gonna say they need a land if they're gonna yog, but now they can yog or cord for yog if they have cord. So odds of being dead. Well, I'm glad to see someone <laughs> fighting back. <laughs> yeah, cord for four, which is yog with Apatra. That's lethal. I mean, we can impulse, but. I don't think there's anything in our deck that, yeah, that actually can stop this. And so we didn't bring the Fatal Pushes in. So our Mythic Dreams all come down to this. We're going to bring in the Fatal Pushes. Do a little more trimming of... Let's go down. Yeah, let's go down to Death Right. Go down to the Pact of Negation. Run it like that. We're on the play. Our deck can literally win on turn two. Can we pull it off one last time and hit Mythic? It's a good hand because we have Leyline. A couple of cantrips, which is nice. Well, play the land, pass the turn. Yes, that ley line is very nice. I'm sure you were looking forward to thought seizing us opponent, but we're gonna we're gonna make you work for it. You gotta find your Beseju first. I mean, they're in the right colors. Like Golgari Yog is gonna have answers to enchantments. They probably got Haywire Mites in there. All right, Death Rite Shaman. Well, crack the fetch. Get a surveil land. Surveil for. Well, we are going to need a land. I guess we can keep the Watery Grave. We're going to need it eventually. Show and Tell does cost three mana. How do we want to do this? I think we're just going to assemble the team. This does mean we don't have a fetch for a Brainstorm, but that's I think that's okay. Grab the Show and Tell. Pass the turn. Next turn, we can... Probably, yeah, we need a top deck, really, if we're gonna do something. We can show and tell a Chromus Memorial, but that doesn't do anything. Oh, no. Wow, again? Oh, usually these decks have, like, one Besaju. All right, we get besaju Well, at least we get to ramp. Do they also have the Thought Seize? Oh, Mill the Breeding Pool. Definitely don't want that. Hmm. So they can take the show and tell, of course. But that does mean we still have a Brainstorm and an Impulse. And they do kind of work well together, right? We don't have a fetch, but we can brainstorm and then impulse to change the top of our deck. It weakens the impulse a little bit. Worth it. All right, another land. Not great. Well, main phase of brainstorm here. See what we find. A bunch of lands and a Utopia Sprawl. Utopia Sprawl could let us reassemble a lane line at some point, maybe. How do we want to do this? Do you even care? Yeah, let's just play the land and pass. So we can crack the fetch, shuffle away the lands, impulse. Looking for pretty much everything. This hand is, <laughs> this hand's really got nothing going on. We got the impulse and Akroma's Memorial's not good until we combo off. Utopia's Brawl, I mean, we already got five land. I guess we could ramp into our finishers, like five, six mana. That's only one short from casting an Atrox, I guess. Do you just take like a Thought Seize? It'd be interesting to see if they're trying to kill us or if they're trying to stay alive. Well, we gotta crack the fetch. We have one more surveil land we can get. Impulse with the trigger on the stack. So we get our impulse card first. Assemble the team? Yeah, I think so. Omniscience is good, but... If we take Omniscience... Yeah, surveil away the land. If we take Omniscience... And draw show and tell, it still doesn't do anything. Uh, that's actually intriguing. So normally drawing ley lines horrible, but we can actually play it and it might be relevant here. So Utopia Sprawl on white. Then we can fetch up the Temple Garden. So this doesn't win us the game or anything, but it 
does prevent future thought seizes and it does slow down their combo. All right, lane lane number two. And this one might stick because I already use their Basaju. I wonder what they tutored. Maybe they just tutored Yogg? They probably just tutored one of their own combo pieces, I guess. Unless this has actually been... <laughs> So normally the games with this deck, you've seen them. They're like three turds or something. Like we haven't played very many long, interesting games. This is actually a long, interesting game. Like opponents defending against our plan. We're trying to defend our combo with ley lines. They're eating away our life total with a death ray. Ooh, double death ray. All right. I mean, that's kind of a clock, right? They, there's a lot of stuff in the graveyard, but they just attack. They could have Bowmasters. Although Leyline's actually really good against Bowmasters too. Assemble the team? See what we find. We could take a show and tell. I think we probably are on the hardcast Atroxa plan though, right? One, two, three. I mean, we have enough mana, yeah. <laughs> well, not how we drew it up really, but we get to hide behind the Leyline for a turn and then just hardcast an Atroxa. Wow, they didn't cast anything. Probably seems like it would have been better to activate the Death Rite Shaman then. They would have us at 10, double activate 6. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. And passes. Well, hard cast that Atroxa. Just the way our show and tell deck planned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, hopefully we find a Fatal Push. That would be nice. Fatal Push and a Fetch Land so we don't have to pay as much life. Actually, I think we'd have to fetch out a dual land anyway. Well, we did find Fatal Push and a Fetch Land and an Omniscience and an Atroxa. If something goes really wrong here, where our opponent somehow like starts the combo with Yogg, we can Fetch Shock Fatal Push a Yogg, which is big. We got to be a little concerned of, it, of our life total. If our opponent can kill this Atroxa before it gains life, we might just be dead. So we're going to be at seven. Six, five, four, three, because they can double activate again. Yeah, if they can kill Atroxa and just keep activating death rights, we die in two turns. If once Atroxa gets in a hit though, we should be good, because then we gain seven. So it's really all about this turn. Opponent, I don't know what they get that wrecks us here though. They can't play Yogg. I guess they can take like an Apatra or something and try to set up for the future. Although the, the ley line helps there too, because they can't blood artist combo kill. This is actually going to be very, very interesting. Opponent. Well, I can hit the Trox, I guess. Can I hit our face, though, because of Leyline? I wonder if Leyline should see more play just because of Bowmaster. Like, it's good in this deck because it's protecting us from Thoughtseize, but maybe we should just be Leylining. Passes. I think we're going to just play it safe. Or what I think is safer, which is we could show and tell Omniscience and try to combo. I'm a little worried here about letting our opponent put something into play. Like if they put a Yogg into play, maybe they can like blow up the ley line in combo. I'll hit you down to five, back up to seven. So, well, now that we're at 14, that's oh, kind of awkward, isn't it? So I, th I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna show and tell the Omniscience. <laughs> we're gonna show and tell the Omniscience and we're gonna try to find Emrakul. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, our opponent. Our opponent, our opponent's tucked. Oh, that's so good. So opponent, uh, apparently afraid enough of show and tell that they appear to be running an uncastable, well, I guess you can cast it with Mana Dork. So mostly uncastable Atroxa, just to put into play off of our show and tell. That's so good. So the goal now is to find an Emrakul. If we can find an Emrakul to control our opponent's turn. There's the Chroma's Memorial still very good. Our opponent had like the worst Atroxa I mean, I guess it's not that bad, but. Well, new Atroxa. Go digging. Basically just looking for Emrakul. Uh, no Emrakul. Well, I guess kind of Emrakul, actually. <laughs> Demonic Tutor counts. <laughs> uh, grab a bunch of stuff. Yeah, Demonic Tutor will find the Emrakul. So let's Demonic Tutor. Also remember, because of a Chromus Memorial, all of our stuff has protection from black and red. So this their Atrox is not going to gain them life. Plus, we get to control their turn. So we should be able to kill their Atrox without them gaining life. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We can see the rest of our opponents, and we're just going to pass. We could keep chaining stuff together, but I don't think we really need to. Wow, so what an interesting game. Well, make your last moves, because we are about to take your turn. <laughs> Wait, did they? 
Do they just let us cast a bunch of spells and then besiege you? What? Uh, well, thank you, opponent. I don't know, that, uh, I assume you want to be, besiege you qu more quickly there. Opponent's got Yogg and Accord. Can we guarantee that we can't lose from here? So I think we Cordex zero. Boy, it's kind of hard to put your opponent's turn on arena, isn't it? Everything's like still backwards and tiny. Um, so Cordex zero, just to get it out of our opponent's hand. Oh, they're natural ordering for Atroxa, I see. An opponent. Wow, scoops it up and well, I guess we're I guess we're mythicking this month. Oh, pretty good. That was like insanely good. Well, show and tell pretty busted. So what do we learn this week about show and tell in Timeless? And I gotta say, this deck is absolutely busted. So I wish I could pull up my untap.gg stats. You know, we usually pull up the stats at the end. Unfortunately, untap.gg is bugged right now for me, so it's not keeping my stats. I haven't figured out how to fix it. So I can't actually pull up the stats, but you can see it in the video. We essentially started at the bottom of Diamond, the level below Mythic on Magic Arena. A little bit below the bottom, but like level two of Diamond, so near the bottom of Diamond. And we ran all the way up to Mythic straight through without dropping a single match along the way so i we went at least nine and oh because it's three wins for each level and we all the way through so we went nine and oh with the deck not dropping a single match and this deck is just really really busted so this isn't to say the deck's unbeatable but i do think this is currently like one of the strongest decks you can possibly play in timeless like it is so fast and so scary and so consistent that i don't know why you wouldn't play this deck it's just so ridiculous ridiculously strong and powerful. It's like playing one of the best decks in Legacy, but we don't have Force of Will in Timeless. So it's one of the best combo decks in Legacy, except the card that stops the combo decks in Legacy doesn't exist in the format. So you're kind of just free to like run people over with show and tell into this huge, ridiculously big combo turd. So I love this deck. It is super explosive, super fun to play, super powerful. My only concern, honestly, is I'm not actually sure that this deck is going to be okay in Timeless. The good news is Timeless is a really, really powerful format. I mean, we got Necros and Dark Rituals and everything in this ridiculous format, so maybe it'll be fine. But after playing this deck, my jaw kind of dropped. Even in Timeless, such a ridiculously strong format, this felt like kind of an outlier in power level. Like, I'm used to being scared of, like, someone playing a Necro and trying to go off with it on, like, turn three or turn four or something. Things like that happen in Timeless, Orcish Bowmasters, of course. Uh, there's very powerful stuff, but this deck felt like it was on a whole nother level. It's just so easy to drop the show and tell and just kill your opponent on the spot. So I think a couple of things could happen with this deck. For one, people are going to have to adjust to it. There's going to have to be more hate cards for this. So if you're playing Timeless right now, I would get ready for show and tell because this deck is really, really powerful and you're probably going to end up seeing on the ladder because it's just that strong. Like if you're trying to win in Timeless, why wouldn't you be show and telling? So make sure you have a plan for this. I'll say the hate cards people are playing don't actually seem that effective. People are playing that like silly red enchantment that's like, oh, when you cast a spell without paying any mana for it, take five and you're just like, well, okay, I'll just like, how about show and tell my Grizzlebrand or Atroxa and just attack you with this huge 7-7 seven, seven flyer like whatever. Uh, so those hate cards don't really work. Um, a lot of our games weren't even really close for the most part. We just kind of face rolled people. So I'm curious what the best answer for this is going to be. I'm expecting we're going to see more discard, more counter spells. You got to have a plan for the ley line of the sanctity, which shuts down the discard. So I think the meta is going to adjust to this. So keep that in mind. I think this deck is absolutely cracked right now, but I think that it, the meta will adjust to try to keep it in line. Maybe some sort of taxes deck with that Alia develops, that could be really good against it. So there are answers to it. So if you're playing Timeless, make sure you have a plan because show and tell is really, really strong. It's also possible that Wizards could end up like restricting it or something. That feels like a long shot at this point. It just entered the format. I think the biggest thing that could change is Wizards adding better answers to the format. And maybe this is way too long and off topic for a little wrap up to our video. But one of the things I wanna see most for Timeless right now is some sort of like anthology of 
answers or something where we get cards like force of negation i could even see an argument for force of will the downside of force of will is if force of will was here we'd play force of will to force through our show and tell force of negation kind of gets around that problem so i'm thinking like force of negations maybe like red elemental blast or pyro blast cards like that maybe a wasteland or a rishidin port could enter the format there's a lot of powerful answers that could be added in stuff like that would make decks like this a little bit more fair like if you had to worry about okay i'm going to show and tell my opponent can just force negation in or whatever it's kind of like legacy right right now timeless kind of feels like legacy or even stronger than legacy as far as threats the threats in this format with necros and show and tells and atroxes are just like really 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 good like some of the strongest in the game's entire history but the answers haven't really caught up yet the best answers are like literal counter spell which doesn't even really see meaningful play in legacy uh thought see is obviously really good but that's not necessarily enough so i think as the format develops wizards will add more of those like legacy quality answers to the format because like we talked about before this deck exists in legacy and it's good in legacy but legacy has this force of will safety valve so nothing can get too out of hand like if force of will didn't exist legacy would basically just be all turn one kill decks because it would be there's so many decks belcher decks show and tell decks they can just win the game on turn one or on turn two and that's what the format would be but thanks to force of will it's actually like a really fair format much of the time because if you go all in on this i'm going to try to combo off on turn two someone could just force a will you and everything falls apart and then they can beat you fairly so i think we're going to see more of these answering answers entering the format so that would be my biggest concern so i would say right now i am absolutely blown away by how strong show and tell is i thought it would be pretty good uh, but now i'm feeling like it's busted arguably maybe possibly like the best deck you can play in timeless right now but i think that'll change by the meta developing and people playing more hate cards for it and also the card pool changing because i really think we will see some of these stronger legacy quality answers entering the format be it force of will force of negation a uh, red elemental blast stuff like that that'll help keep these combo decks in line but for now show and tell is absolutely wild if you want to rank up super quick super easily and just smash everyone i would definitely recommend the deck it's super fun it's super explosive and it kind of feels like you're just playing a different format than some of your opponents when the opponent goes you know turn one ragavan into zertar goblin and we're like okay show and tell omniscience atroxa 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 emrakul uh, you know chroma's memorial you're dead it feels like we're doing something that's almost just cheating compared to what other decks are doing but anyway that's show and tell that's timeless that's but our deck for today thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon looking for even more magic well check out the video where we threw a 50 50 malik at our opponent in standard or maybe the one where we paid the biggest brain infect deck ever in modern